Hey everyone, in this 4 minute videos for developers, we are going to see error code analysis dashboard in Apache JP Analytics. Myself Anil Sagar, I work at Google and Apache platform. Prerequisites for this video, you need Apache Edge account, you can sign up at apache.com slash edge. You need Apache API proxy concept, for that you can refer earlier 4 minute videos. You also need runtime traffic to your API proxies and just make some API calls and make sure that you have some API calls returning 4xs or 5xs uh, HTTP response codes to see error code related analytics in Apache Edge API Analytics dashboard. Let's understand how it works. As you know, Apache Edge platform sits in between the target systems and the clients which are making API calls. When you create API proxies, when the API request goes through Apache Edge platform to the target and the response comes back from the target back to the client, there might be instances where it targets malfunction and gives back the error like 404404 or 500 errors or some errors that might generate due to the policy execution in Apache Edge and then written back to the client. Apache Edge tracks all these errors and logs the details to Apache Edge Analytics platform so that you can able to surface them and get the visibility what is going on across your API program. You can able to find out through analytics what proxies are working, what is not working, and when it is not working, and all other details associated with that information when the analytics data get captured. Let's see those analytics in Apache Edge Analytics Dashboard. As you can see here, I have a simple API proxy with uh, the target endpoint, HTTP window.org slash status, which will help you to simulate the error response codes by making an API call through Apache Edge platform. So I have this proxy endpoint, when make an API call to this particular endpoint, I can simulate the backend errors by sending the error code like 404 or by making 500 uh, error code as part of the request that will get returned from HTTP bin status mock API. When these API calls go through Apache Edge platform, Apache Edge Analytics captures all this data and you can able to visualize that. Some of the errors might happen due to the proxy related error errors. For example, if a rise fault policy gets executed, whenever condition matches uh, uh, on the faults gets raised in Apache Edge platform. Let's say somebody sends proxy error is equal to true, then you will see an error that is written by the rise fault policy. As you can see, this particular rise fault policy is returning 500 error. These errors are called proxy related errors. Let's now navigate to analyze uh, the API analytics dashboard, error code analysis, and let's understand what kind of visibility that API analytics gives you. As you can see here, when you select the right environment and the timeline, you can see there are total 106 errors that happened in last one day. 60 are proxy related errors and 46 are target related errors. Some Proxy errors are related to, for example, Coda getting exhausted or rice fault uh, related uh, errors, or it might be something else. So it will give you visibility on what kind of errors is happening across your API program. As you can see, there are eight four access errors and 52 five access errors. You can also see errors by proxy as well as errors by target and proxy errors by response code. You can able to drill down by proxy by selecting this particular filter on top of the screen and see at what time frame the errors happen. You can also be able to create custom reports and get more details about what went wrong. Again, this is analytics. If you want to do the error code analysis, then I would suggest to go for logging option of request response payloads into third party logs. As you know, we don't log any request response API data by default. We log only API meta info. If you have any questions, please feel free to post your questions in community.apg.com. Thank you for watching this video. Please share this video with your colleagues and friends. Subscribe to YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button below this video. Thank you again.